On behalf of the University of Strathclyde, I welcome you here to the Barony Hall, to Glasgow and to the University of Strathclyde. Uh, you're here today for the Congregation for the Conferment of Degrees. This is a day of celebration for your graduates, your family and friends, and for the staff who taught you during your time here. These events are sometimes known as commencement ceremonies because they signal a beginning rather than an end of a journey. And it is in this spirit that we celebrate our graduations here at Strathclyde. In a few moments, it will be my privilege to cap each graduand. The capping ceremony has ancient roots uh, as a public rite of passage and a mark of achievement. For each of our graduands here today, it is a sign that they are part of a proud tradition of world-changing scholars at Strathclyde, stretching all the way back to the Scottish Enlightenment. I know that many of you here are coming from various parts of the world, and some of you have been able to bring your family and friends to the ceremony. Events like this graduation only come around very rarely. Most of you will only graduate once with a master's or a diploma or a certificate. So please don't hesitate to celebrate. Family and friends, you're here. It's a special day. Celebrate with your, your loved ones when they come up on to this stage and uh, they're capped. This is their day, but it's also your day as well. And I also ask that uh, there are some students here that are here on their own. They've traveled from across the world to come here for the graduation. And if there isn't a clap for them, or if it's a quiet clap, then please join in and celebrate with them. So without further ado, I now declare this congregation for the conferment of degrees open, and I invite Professor Susan Howick, Vice Dean Academic of the Strathclyde Business School, to introduce our students. Executive Dean, in the name of the University and by the authority of Senate, I present to you these students. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for research in the Department of Economics, Matthew Robertson. For the degree of Master of Science, in International Banking and Finance, Make Fisher. <laughs> Emmanuel Galanakis. <laughs> Guadalupe Gonzalez Aguilar. <laughs> Aaron Kettlewell. Athanasius Kokinus. <laughs> Caroline Alfred Makimo. <laughs> Konstantin Stefanov Yonchev. <laughs> In finance and management, Peter Atonosov. Rika Janika Otio. <laughs> Eleanor Donovan. <laughs> Anushka Gol. <laughs> Ross Cameron McGuinness. George Malkey. <laughs> Pradipta Mazumdar. <laughs> Tommaso Pavanen. <laughs> T 
Thomas Pinter. Nalintip Piasat. Ahmed Osman Wardin. Yang Shin. Si Yuan Yu. Yang Yuhan. Jim Ban Zhao. Zaid Abu Habla. Patrick Alexander Alamaki. David Bromo. Jonathan Permail Brown. Athanasius Marius Dizangelis. Ibrahim Saeed Ahmed Ibrahim Hashem Ibrahim. Roland Fallis. Pavla Fortinova. Stephanie Freeman. Jing Yan He. David Grant Loudon. Aidan James McGee. Rehan Mohammed. Aninya Pradipta. Daniel Sloan. Stephen Smith. Dilshad D. Solon. George Daniel Brown Swanky. Yitong Tsai. Siyu Yu. In Applied Economics, Abdul Rayof Fahad Allah Mahawish. Keith Barrington Barnes. <laughs> Elliot Bald. <laughs> James, James Cannell Harley Black. <laughs> Michelle Louise Brown. Michael James Cairns. <laughs> Noah Anderson Cloak. <laughs> Jack Cleland Coleman. <laughs> Bradley Graham. <laughs> Tessa Hall. Elizabeth Harvey. Jin Kenna. Christopher George Miller. Louis Robert R. Treaty Porn Promde.
Kieran Patrick Riley. Gillian Marie Stewart. Pierre Nicholas Remy Troc in her beauty. In global energy management, Emmanuel John and Wanadunk. Christos Barkumas. Kirsten Victoria Brown. Mur Farazuddin. Penny Leek. Mustafa Nabil Nastafa Nagi. Lillian Dizwani Nuswela. Ashank Sinha. Paul William Smiley. In Global Sustainable Cities, Connor William Bean. Jiang Hong Lucky. Amber Nassim Mohammed. Lenka Sforkova. Daisy Whiting. In economics and finance, Ilz Eldith Bravo Herrera. Wichayada Chawut. Pavel Henrik Karnowski. Slavomir Pavel Dezido. Madina Nurzanova. Janetan Naim Pinky. Xiaoyu Shi. Nitanit Sutisombun. Chong Fan Zhao. In entrepreneurship, innovation and technology, Beza Baron. <laughs> Kyle Burnett. <laughs> Warren Changpibun. <laughs> Piyut Dasani. Karem Daza Balanis. <laughs> Henrique Gomez de Silva Filho. <laughs> Harry Clidwin Macduff Haslam. <laughs> Abhishek Huda. <laughs> Ioana Macri Yuri. Sanrawi Midprasetpur. <laughs> Iska Chindongo Nagonomo. <laughs> Amis Della Yegbi. <laughs> In entrepreneurial management and leadership, Mehel Agarwal. Raga Deja Akfal. 
Gretel Bowman. Ikawa Charadra Pipong. Ludovico Del Carreto de Ponte Assassin. Tanuj Dalip Jang. Rebecca Duke. Covid Duta. Paige Teresa Gilbert. Roy Hobika. Reza Karimi. Tanasa Lapranoronchi. Gregor Marcombs. Ternatop Motonraya Oskiaya. Ewan Thomas Rice. Sara Sanchez Arnawa. Kieran Trainer. For the Certificate in Applied Business Skills, Alexander Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Lewis Stephen Cassidy. <laughs> Alexander Andrew Davidson. Stephen Day. Christopher Craig Howey. Molly Joyce. Joseph Samuel Kingdom. Jamie Jeanette McCormick. Alicia Maria Maxwell. Darren Stevenson. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, but most of all our graduates, it is a true pleasure to welcome you here to the University of Strathclyde. I know that for many of your family and friends, this will be the first time they've visited the university, and we are delighted to have you here today. We are particularly pleased to have our Breaking Barriers graduates at this congregation and a very special welcome to you, your family and your friends. I begin my address by congratulating you all once again on your academic achievements. Your hard work has paid off and it has now been recognised in front of your family's friends and the staff who have taught you and supported you during your time here. 
We know just how much work you had to put in to get here today. We know about those late nights writing assignments, those early winter mornings when you had to get in for the 9 a.m. lecture on a Friday, those evenings before submission deadlines when you just couldn't find anything worthwhile to write. All of those trials and hard work over the past year is a price that you have paid to get to this point in your life. All of you have taken a huge step towards realizing your dreams. And today, in these magnificent surroundings, we celebrate your achievements. Congratulations. In just a few minutes time, you will be asked to join the academic procession as it makes its way down the central aisle. This invitation symbolizes the fact that you are no longer students, but full members of the academic community at Strathclyde. It is an important moment for you all. The class of 2019 is graduating at a time of considerable global change in Scotland, in the UK, and internationally. There is no question that challenges lie ahead for us all. But as members of the Strathclyde family, you belong to a large and ever-growing worldwide community with a shared ethos of tolerance and understanding and a desire to make a positive difference. Whatever you choose to do in life, remember that you possess the most valuable assets anyone can have in today's world. Knowledge, the ability to innovate, and the capacity to use your talents for the good of society. As graduates of this wonderful socially progressive university, you have a competitive advantage, having been equipped with the skills, know-how, and life experiences to positively influence and shape the world around you. As Strathclyders, and I am one of them, I graduated as well from this university, we carry a sense of duty to use what we have learned wisely and for the good of others. The desire to make a positive impact in the world comes naturally to graduates of this university. We only have to look at the achievements of those who have gone before us for inspiration. To John Anderson, our founder, who established this university for the good of humanity to the missionary and explorer David Livingston, to John Logie Baird and Lord Reith, whose work in television brought us visual marvels that they could only have dreamed of, to Dame Elise Angelini, a pioneer in Scottish justice as the country's first female Solicitor General and later as first female Lord Advocate, to Dame Sue Bruce, our convener of court, to Debbie Crosby, Chief Executive of TSB Bank, and to Lena Wilson, former Chief Executive of Scottish Enterprise and a main board director at RBS. To Sir Tom Hunter, one of the most successful entrepreneurs in Scottish history and a philanthropist who's used his wealth to the great benefit of others. And to our university's principal and vice chancellor, Professor Sir Jim MacDonald, who was recently appointed president of the Royal Academy of Engineering, the first Scot to be awarded this highly prestigious recognition. And he was the first of his family to go to university. The poet William Arthur Ward put it well when he said that greatness is not found in possessions, power, position, or prestige. And I'm sure, though, that these are all in your own future. Instead, greatness is discovered in goodness, humility, service, and character. And as a Strathclyde graduate, you all have the potential for greatness. We want you to be the best professionals, the best business people, the best leaders. But more than that, we want you to be even better people. People that exhibit all of our university's values. Be bold, be ambitious, be innovative, be collaborative be people-oriented. To reach this point in your lives today, each of you will have traveled a different journey. For some, the path will have been relatively easy. 
for others more difficult. But I am certain of one thing. None of you would be here without the active support of your family and friends. They will have picked you up when you've been down, encouraged you when you needed it. And they are here to support you once again today, proudly watching as you cross the stage with broad smiles and I'm sure the odd tear in their eye. Your family and friends are celebrating today because you carry with you their hopes and dreams, their confidence that you can make this a better world. And for the past half hour or so, their applause has rung in our ears. I'd now like to invite our graduates to show your appreciation for the support of your family and friends here today. So as I said at the beginning of today's ceremony, today's graduation is only a beginning. You are each on your own journey of development and learning that doesn't stop today. As your university, we will actively keep in touch with you through our alumni and communications teams. And please keep in touch with us too. Just like any family, and we are a Strathclyde family, we love to hear about your achievements. The advice and guidance given by our alumni has helped us to provide the first class education and student experience that you all had at Strathclyde. And I now ask you that you think of those future students who will follow in your footsteps and help us make your degrees the best they can be. I touched earlier on a selection of some of the key figures who have participated in the journey that the Universities of Strathclyde has taken over the past 220 years of existence. You can tell a lot about the values of an organization by looking at its roots. Strathclyde traces its lineage back to 1796 when Professor John Anderson brought it into being, the only Scottish university founded in the Enlightenment, embodying the principles of reason, tolerance, and equality. Anderson believed in useful learning, and his commitment to taking knowledge and using it for the greater good is a motivating force which gives Strathclyde its momentum today. In many ways, he was ahead of his time. As he advocated in the 18th century, the education is for both men and women and of all classes. Today, this vision is as important as ever. As a socially progressive university, we want our students' talent to be developed to the very highest level and the talent pool to be as wide as it can be. We now have targets for recruiting students from disadvantaged areas, where historically few people have stayed in education after leaving schools. And I'm delighted to say that we have met and indeed exceeded these targets, enhancing our diverse and vibrant student community. We have many initiatives aimed at ensuring the ability and willingness to learn and not personal circumstances determine access to this university. We are and will always be an international university. Our staff and student community is drawn from more than 100 nations and we have alumni and partners on every continent. This ensures our outlook, knowledge, and experience abroad. It is exactly the shape a successful university should be. Our university is a place of innovation, a groundbreaking research, a first-class teaching, a productive relationships with our external partners all go into the experience that we offer our students. We continually strive to enhance the student experience by investing in our campus, creating facilities like the recently opened Strathclyde Sport Building. Many of you here today, through your feedback and ideas, will have helped shape the plans for our under construction learning and teaching hub at the very heart of our campus. This building will be the new base of our students' association and will have all the facilities our students need to get the very best from their time at Strathclyde. And thank you graduates for helping to create this important legacy. And so we now come to the business school, your faculty. It has definitely been a year to celebrate. 
The school was awarded the maximum accreditation from AMBA, AACSB and the Small Business Charter. Externally, internationally regarded the organisations that validate the quality of your business school and its programmes. Our Breaking Barriers programme, in partnership with Enable Scotland, Scottish Power and Marriott Hotels, won the Youth Employment Award at the Herald Diversity Awards and has been shortlisted for the Times Higher Education Awards in the Widening Participation Outreach Initiative category. Uh, and those awards will take place at the end of this month, so keep an eye out for the good news, if it comes. <laughs> Following on from his launching the first FinTech Masters in the UK, and we have graduates here today, we are now running the programme in Bahrain, the very first programme of its kind in the GCC region. We also launched a FinTech Accelerator programme to encourage development of early stage businesses through funding in kind support masterclasses and dedicated mentors. Between them are two research centres, the Fraser of Allender Institute and the Scottish Centre for Employment Research has won nearly £3 million in research funding to pursue its world-class policy defining research in economics and workplace productivity. And we are particularly delighted that we have appointed Mary Spowage as Deputy Director of the Fraser of Allender. Mary joined the Institute from the Scottish Government where she worked as a senior statistician there. In the Hunter Centre, Dr Matt Hannan's work in wind energy has attracted great media interest, as is another research project by Dr Samuel Moara, who authored a report commissioned by the Federation of Small Businesses, which showed that one in ten smaller businesses are led by an immigrant entrepreneur, contributing more than £13 million to the Scottish economy. And finally, Professor Nigel Lockett, head of the Hunter Centre, continues to work on Recirculate, a £7 million grant-funded international collaboration focused on the circular water economy of Africa. Our successes as a university is in no small part due to the collective talent, effort and commitment of our staff. The 3,200 colleagues who are pulling together to deliver one vision a leading international technological university. Like me, they are very proud of your achievements. I know that the class of 2019 will demonstrate the power of useful learning. I know that you will make your dreams a reality. And I know that you will make a difference to the world in which we all live. Thank you. So I now declare closed this congregation for the conferment of degrees. I invite our graduates to join the academic procession. Would family and friends please stay behind until the procession has left the building and then join us in the Lord Todd for refreshments. Thank you. <laughs>